Hi folks, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to delete a die line from a PDF file. So let's say a customer has sent you a PDF with a die line on it. Maybe it's for a door hanger or some stickers or a presentation folder, something along those lines. Normally, if you want to delete it before you send it over to press, you just go ahead and you open it up in Adobe Illustrator and you just select the layer that you want to delete and delete it. Simple as that. However, what if it's a multi-page PDF file? In this case, I'll show you how to delete it for every page. So you can see here I have two, um, two files. One is, a pro is set up as a process color and one is set up as a spot color. And I'll show you the difference in just a moment. Let's go ahead and start on the spot color uh, version first. So if I open my PDF file here, you can see it's a, um, a multi-up label. There's multiple pages. In this case, it's 208 total. And I have a die line on the PDF. And this is what I need to delete before I send it over to the printer. If I go into my print production and if I look at my output preview, you can see under the spot plate, I have a die line or a layer called die line which is what we need to delete so <clears throat> how do we do this quickly well we can use Adobe Acrobat's built-in pre-flight to select all of those um, elements that are linked to this die line layer and delete them so if I go in here into pre-flight and I already had this up from before but let's say this is what your default setting looks like um, you, normally you have uh, everything set to select profiles. In this case, I, what I want to do is I want to click the little wrench, which is selecting a single fix up. And I want to type in the word remove. And if you're up here, you want to scroll all the way down until you see where it says pages. And we want to click on this one right here that says remove all objects using spot color with specified name. Now, before we do that, you need to double check and make sure exactly what your um, spot color is because this is all case sensitive so in this case I need to cap or capitalize the D and the L and I need to put a space in between when I type in the information if I double click it prompts me to put in what the name of the spot color is so I'm gonna put in die line exactly what I had from my output preview I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna prompt me to save so I'll just call this underscore 2 and I'll hit save and now it'll go through and you can see two or 624 objects have been deleted. All of those die lines are now gone from the PDF document. So simple, right? Well, what if you have a process color? Now let's go back to my process color version. If I go back in here and I click on my output preview, you can see there's no spot color layer uh, on this one. However, when I scroll or uh, zoom in and hover over the color, you can see it's a 100% process magenta and 100% process yellow. So how do we delete that? Well, if you watch my other video on how to change uh, process colors to spot colors, we're going to use a combination of that plus what I did in step one. So if I go back into my pre-flight, I go into my profiles, and there's this one right here called map color with specified color values. I'm going to double, uh, double click on that. Now I've changed the names of these from its default. Sometimes it'll just say uh, destination one, destination two. Basically it's cyan, magenta, yellow, black. And then down here the source is cyan, magenta, yellow, black. So in this case, let's give it another spot color name. We'll just call it uh, Die, or, uh, die line layer and we'll make it 100% cyan so it's something a little different and this is the source color so it was 0 cyan 100% magenta or magenta and 100% yellow so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna save this as underscore 2 for the process color hit save and now you can see it's going through and 624 objects have been changed. So now if I go back into my output preview, there's one called die line layer. Now if I uncheck that, you can see that's exactly what it's done is it's changed everything over to a specific spot color. 
So now we're going to go back in here and we're going to go just like we did in the first step. Remove is still there. So right here, remove all objects using spot color. And then we need to make sure that, whoops, sorry. We need to make sure to name it the same way. So die line layer. So I'll double click that. Die line layer. I'm going to hit OK. And I'll call it underscore three. Hit save. And you can see now it's done, done it again. 624 objects. And those have all been deleted from the PDF. And now my PDF is ready to go ahead and send over to the printer. So it's pretty simple. Uh, hope every hope you guys um, found this little tutorial uh, uh, useful, uh, especially for those of you who work in the pre uh, uh, pre press industry uh, or deal a lot with uh, printing. Please uh, feel free to leave any comments below or any questions you might have. I'm happy to help. As always, please like, subscribe, share all that fun stuff with YouTube. I appreciate it. Uh, I just passed 500 viewers or uh, 500 subscriptions, which I never thought I would ever get that just doing little things on the side like I've been doing. Um, so I really appreciate all those folks that have subscribed and are continuing to watch these videos. Um, and I hope everyone's getting use out of these. I uh, appreciate all the support. Uh, everyone have a nice day and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Take care.